this thing was brought to me this morning, which is my keyboard. It is a mechanical keyboard. I started opening it up already. Advanced anti-ghosting thanks to N-key rollover, 30 keys plus 8 modifier keys, pure processing power via 2 times 32-bit ARM Cortex processors plus 2 MB flash memory, Cherry MX key switches with 50 million keystroke durability, Rocket achievements display. Keep track of vital gaming statistics. Wow, that's very important. Smudge proof, glossy look. Means style isn't sacrificed for substance. 10 keyless format to compact design without compromise. Rock solid support. High comfort, jumbo sized. Wrist rest. Super stable, clutter free. 5 rubber feet and integrated cable channel. Rocket talk set bonus. Get more out of your Rocket device by combining their functions. 470 programmable macros. Meaning you can get the most out of each key. Alright. So the Americans are pretty good at marketing, as you can tell. But I can explain why I chose this keyboard in a second.
is a quick installation guide.
WASD switches with light on it, or you can even have like moving schemes. But honestly speaking, that's not why I purchased this keyboard. And also, I heard that the LED lights will are actually likely to break at a given point in time. So let's do some testing. Which is 
not super expensive, I think. And actually, the normal version of this one is bigger. So there's actually a Rios or Rios, whatever you pronounce it, which is a general normal size. But I, as you might have noticed, have only a small size. It's called a TKL. And as you can easily see, usually you would have the numpads here on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I like some position switches. And actually I thought, I don't need those. I don't need those for typing. I don't need those for gaming. And maybe if you're an accountant, you might need them. But even me, as somebody who has a lot to do with numbers, I didn't really use those in my job. So I thought it's better to have this one. Why not try to have a small keyboard, which saves you some space. So I hope that this is going to be a good decision. Maybe the page down and page up are the only um, buttons or um, keys that I sometimes use, but apart from this I didn't use it too much. So I trust that this will be a good decision. And yeah, to me it looks pretty durable. The switches are pretty large if you look at how high they are. So there is actually a cherry keyboard which has Keys, they're pretty small. So the company that makes these keys and these switches also makes keyboards. However, it didn't have a wrist thing and it also had a faulty USB cable. And also it had no LED. But as I said already, I don't really care for the LED. So yeah, I hope this was interesting and helpful to you. I will do a bit more.
as you can see, even with keyboards, there's some innovation going on. And I'm hoping that I will be happy with this keyboard. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm probably not going to use the, um, the LED lights so much. I don't like it blinking all the time. And maybe one thing that is worth noting is that the larger version of this keyboard actually has a switch for USB and also for headphone and for a headset, which this one doesn't have, but I don't really need it personally. So it's just one thing to consider. I actually like the smaller size of it. I think it's always good to save some room on your um, desk. And as I don't really need those keys, it's pretty good. And I kind of like having these um, arrows on the side already. And yeah, actually, that's pretty cool. I like it. And I like the sounds of it. The feedback can be annoying to some people. But I do recommend trying this out. I have the MX Brown switches. Um, you can try out the red ones if you don't like any feedback and if you don't want to have the sound. But there will always be some kind of clicking sound, I think, which is a bit louder than what you're maybe used to from notebooks. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.